Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a disassembly video of the Acer ES1 531 series laptop. Now uh, I do own a few laptops and uh, all of them have different purpose. So uh, I've been getting a few requests on uh, laptops with uh, more battery life, uh, better for editing, like um, uh, uh, word editing, not for video editing and stuff. There are different ones. Now this one specifically is for uh, it, it's a lightweight laptop. It's uh, Intel uh, inside regular dual core uh, processor. It's not going to be the i3, i5, i7 i processor. It's going to be a regular one. So what's good with this is the battery life is good. Uh, you can actually use it for uh, typing work. So if you are a person who does a lot of data entry kind of work or if you are uh, writing a book. So all those kind of things can be done on this very well because this can support around three hours of battery. So uh, as in you can use it for three hours on battery. So that's actually very good. So let's go ahead and uh, check how to open it up, how to remove the battery, how to remove the hard drive, how to change the uh, RAM, all that. So I'll be showing you everything. So now this laptop, if you see, there is no battery. So you cannot actually remove any battery from here. There's nothing, uh, it's one piece. So if you want to replace anything, you have to take out the 18 screws. So it has 18 screws on it. You have to remove all of them. So let's go ahead, open it up first, and then we will see what can we expect inside the laptop. So to open it up, first of all, you'll need a star or a Phillips screwdriver. So uh, you need this. Now I have a kit which has all these small bits. So it's, it's good if you have a kit like this, it's not that expensive. You can get it from Amazon or anywhere. So one screw, which is always important and you should not forget is the CD drive screw. Now in this, it doesn't matter. You'll have to remove all of them. But if you have, if you're opening up any other uh, laptop, which is uh, which uh, everything is separate then make sure if you want to open this flap out always remove the cd drive first so anyways on this we have to open up all of them i'll be showing you another laptop actually a few more laptops i'll be opening up a mac also for you and then uh, you can see what to expect inside because a lot of people are curious about a mac uh, how does it look like uh, what is inside how does the keyboard look like? How does the speakers look like? How does the fan look like? All these kind of things. So I'll be showing you all of that. So we'll be doing that for this one first and then the rest of them. So let me just fast forward this video while I'm removing all the screws. Okay, so all the 18 screws have been removed. Now you see it's actually that easy to open up okay so this opens up in a different way now you see that it doesn't open up from the bottom it actually opens up from the top now the cd drive is attached to it that's why you cannot remove it you cannot remove it out properly okay now to open it up you'll have to remove these two cables now be careful don't uh, destroy them just push it downwards slightly don't push too much of force and then remove that now this is a different one you'll have to actually lift it and then take it out that's it okay so that's the top part now the keyboard is under here uh, your mouse uh, the trackpad everything is over here nothing else over this so this is how the newer laptops are so it opens up from the top instead of the bottom. Now let's take a look at the hardware itself. Now, if I want to upgrade my RAM, I don't have any place to upgrade it. Now, this is the problem that I have with the newer laptops. Now, these are meant for uh, your typing purpose and all that thing. It's not a heavy duty laptop, but at least you have to have some option to upgrade your RAM. Uh, let's try one more thing. Let's remove the motherboard completely from here and then see at the back if there's any option for us. Okay, that's the CD drive. Now to remove the motherboard, you'll have to remove this screw over here and then you'll have to remove uh, these cables and then you'll have to remove the hard drive also because the hard drive is also directly connected to it So I'll have to remove this screw the last one and then 
push this hard drive out okay that's the hard drive keep that aside okay now let's remove the network chip basically this is your Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth card remove the antenna remove this okay do you see any other screw nope okay now most importantly the battery has to be removed which I did not remove as yet battery and the other cable okay it's done oh whoa okay so we'll have to remove the fan also everything is connected otherwise it won't even move okay there's one more cable here for the power to not letting me move let me remove that too that's it okay so that's it now it should be able to okay so there we go we have a ram at the back so very sneaky hmm so we have a ram uh, at the back so we can actually change it now what we have to do is uh we can actually upgrade it to a gb ram um, or whatever ram we want to upgrade it to we can only put one we cannot put more than one because there's only one slot available over here okay so finally i actually found a 8 gb uh, kingston ram with me so let's go ahead put this in now make sure you have a ddr3 ram there are different speeds uh, if you are trying to put two rams if there are two slots uh, make sure the frequency matches so if the frequencies don't match then uh, the rams will not work so you'll have to make sure that the frequencies are fine now this one is a single one so i don't really care i can put any so i'll go ahead and put the 8 gb ram in it and that's it so that's how you can upgrade now let me go ahead put everything back again let's fast forward this now now make sure you do not rush yourself don't push anything don't pull too much uh, go slow with these kind of things because uh, when will they conk out you really don't know Now the good thing with this is you do not have different size screws uh, the internals have the same screw the externals have uh, the same screws so you will not get mixed i have actually uh, used a lot of uh, actually own a lot of sony vio laptops and uh, a few of the hp ones and it's a nightmare when you open them up because mo uh, mostly you get three to four different kind of screws in them so you have to make sure you remember which one is which if not uh, <laughs> then you'll have a nightmare putting them back so over here you will not have that much of a problem okay so let's go ahead and put all the cables back now now be very gentle with them don't push it in too hard don't uh, try to you know rush it in i've actually broken a lot of these kind of cables and then uh, i had to go through a lot of headache to fix them please make sure you do not put too much of force now I'll put the ribbon cables back again done now before you close this completely make sure you put it on once and then see if it is working uh, because uh, once you put back the 18 screws then you'll have to open it back again so that will not be a very good uh, experience okay okay so the motherboard has been put in let me put back the hard drive now so you just keep it over here like that and push it in that's it now let's put the screw back only it's easier if you have a tweezer I'll have to search for mine so I'm just going to use my hand I'm used to this so I know which one goes where uh, but in case if you're not sure uh, make sure that you take a picture of everything before you open it up so that in case you forget where uh, where everything goes you can actually put it back properly okay so that's it now let's put this back and then the battery okay that's done now let's switch it on okay so 
there you go uh, the ram has been upgraded so it's uh, 8 gb ram 7.83 usable rest is being used by the display so uh, everything is working fine now so i'll go ahead and shut it down put the keyboard and mouse back oh, sorry uh, close it <laughs> put the keyboard back and then we will switch it on again and see how it's working okay so now we have to close this back down now this is the difficult part now the way they made it it's not that easy now for closing it you'll have to make sure you lift it up keep this part over here like this and then bring this close and then put in the cables from here hopefully you can see that put in the cables from here so you have to be very delicate with this do not force yourself so let me go ahead put this back now okay it's done now then you just put it here and then push it down okay so it's finally done so everything is working fine now one thing i'll tell you in advance uh, when you open this up uh, without the screws the battery doesn't charge it doesn't work so i tinkered around with it for a little while and then i said i'll uh, fix it later i put in all the screws and then the battery started working so there's something somewhere i don't know why did they make that so once the keyboard is out the battery gets disabled it doesn't work once you put the entire thing back put in the screws and uh, then the battery will start working so just keep that in mind so everything is done so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video Bye bye